A local mother is in shock tonight after receiving hate mail in response to her plea to turn an empty lot, the same place where her son died, into a memorial garden. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard has the story from Jacksonville. This is the lot where Eva Brooks's heartbreak began two years ago when her son was killed in a house fire. That heartbreak was compounded when she tried to rally support to build a memorial garden here, and she got this in her mailbox. When I go there, I, f I feel a sorrow. Yet solace. The last place Eva Brooks's five-year-old son, Isaiah, was alive. It's just been really, it's been really horrible. Since his death in a fire here two years ago, Brooks has tried to build support to turn the empty lot, which her family owns, into a memorial garden. You know, with roses and little benches and stuff. But after drawing community attention to her cause, I went to go check my mailbox and, um, Pull, pull the letter out of the mailbox. Scrawled inside was a message of hate. The letter begins, Hello ladies, it always makes me heartsick to see a Negro and a white person team up. I do not believe any Negro deserves a park named for them in memory of them or a memorial garden. They should still be slaves. I'm not for anything a Negro does. I think they should all be put on a slow boat to Africa. I don't believe what that a person could be that low to say something about that like that about a child. Brooks wants answers. Who would do this? Unfortunately, the letter will be difficult to track. They didn't put any return address on it. There was no signature to it. You have thousands of fingerprints, I'm sure, on the envelope. And the envelope could have been sent from anywhere between Jacksonville and Champaign. And even if police do find the person who wrote it, a hateful letter alone is not considered a hate crime. We're determining it. Uh, at this point to be a freedom of speech. Hateful speech. Brooks wants her children and anyone who will listen to learn from. I want my kids to know they are just as good as the next person. You know, I don't want them to think that they have to hide because they're mixed or because they have black in them from hide from nobody. In Jacksonville, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel 20. If you have any information on who may have sent that letter to the Brooks family, call the Jacksonville Police Department.